what I gotta do now is I gotta make this engine accept the clutch. The clutch takes a tapered in like that. And this is not a tapered in, so of course that ain't gonna work. So what you do is we gotta cut this off to the right length, put this adapter on there. going like that. So I'll have to cut this off there. We'll go over that. I'm cutting it shortly. But right now I have to drill out the center hole and then tap it so the bolt could go in because the, the, the hole don't go very deep. So that's what I'm doing now is uh, drilling out the hole. I got to get it back to about right there. I've already done some drilling. The deeper I get, the deeper I get, the more I gotta pull the drill back out to let the chips come out. Takes a while. I'm almost there. But I've got to tap it, and this tap, of course, won't go deep enough. So I would do it in sections. I'm going to tap it as far as I can, then I'll cut some off, and then I'll tap it the rest of the way, and then I'll cut it to length. Which is a, an absolute pain in the derriere. But that's how it's done. Just getting this started. So Make sure it's straight. There's threads already in there, so just that, that's the threads that's getting started on. Let's see, I'm gonna run into a problem here. Whoops. Let's see if the bolt threads in. Make sure. Where that went. Yep. So, I tapped it this far, so I've got to cut it back, cut it off. About that, I got to cut it off less than this much. I've probably cut this a few times. I bet you. This is. Yep, I cut it to there first. All right, I gotta get it prepped and get it cut. No sense of seeing that on video. Okay, this is the first cut. Like I said, I gotta cut up here is where it's really gonna end up being. Up like that there. It's gonna be back here. But I gotta do a cut up here. This is like a practice cut, basically. And I'm not going to be precision with it, but because when I do this cut, I'm actually going to start the engine and have it run and then put a scribe a starting line on this so it's square around there. This first cut doesn't have to be that flat, but the next cut does, needs to be for sure. But this, I just got to make sure, because the reason why I'm doing two cuts, because it's only tapped in so far. In order to make sure it's straight, when I start tapping it, I want to make sure I'm in threads. And there's threads going this far in. So when I cut that off, I'll have some threads I can start with to get this in because I, 
I got one shot with this. Only one shot. So I've got to make sure I do it right. So I want to take time out and do a first cut, which is basically going to be a practice cut, and then the actual cut. You got glasses on? So stand back a little bit. First cut. First cut. Boy, is that ever nerve wracking. Now let's take the tap. Alright, well I got it cut off. I didn't do it on camera because I was there was a lot of swearing that was going on. Big time. The idea is you drill it deep as far as you can. Now there's already tapped at the front, so you run the tap in as far as you can. That way it's tapped, and then you cut it off in between the threads where it where you where it's originally tapped and what you had in. So you <coughs> so you have a little bit of threads in there. So when you run the tap in to tap it again, there's threads in there so you go in straight. Well, when I cut it off the first time, it was after where I had tapped it. So I had to get that tap started straight and it wasn't going straight. So I had to cut it off straight and cut it or so where there was no threads and then tap it, but I had to make sure it was straight. That was a pain in the butt. I will say this. This is nicer that you can take this adapter sleeve. Just a, it's steel, not aluminum. And you put that on there like that. And then you can take the clutch, this factory clutch. Now the factory clutch is on there. Now, the other option was to buy a clutch that would fit the shaft as a keyway to where you didn't have to cut it off two times. See, I had to cut it off twice. So I cut it off here, and then I cut it off again. But what I did was I cut too far back. The threads didn't go all the way through far enough. So when I went to tap it, there was nothing there to start. So getting that tap started straight, because that bolt's this long, it's got to be straight. Because now it's going to go like this. It's a hundred some odd dollars for another clutch. And I don't know if this part would work or not if you bought the other clutch or if you had to replace a bolt or what. <coughs> or what. This was a pain in the butt. This created a lot of swearing because I had to cut the shaft off, which brand new motor that scared me a bit. Profanity did, I mean, there was a lot of it today. I still taste it. That made me angry. I was just, but I did get it, tap it straight. So I'm going to put oil in it, put some gas in it, and I'm going to fire it up and run it right here. You want to do that? Sure. All right. Alright, we're going to put gas in it, and we're going to hook it to the battery, we're going to test run it to see if it works. Ready? Here we go.
because I'm losing everything off my bench. And I'm done for the night, and we'll probably be back tomorrow. And we'll see what happens. I'm going to try this for once. See you all tomorrow.